30 NATO allies sign off on the accession protocols for Sweden and Finland on Tuesday. The bloc also sends the membership bits of the two nations to the alliance capital for legislative approvals. The 30 ambassadors and permanent representatives are to formally approve the decisions of last week's NATO summit when the alliance made decision to invite Finland and Sweden to join the military bloc. Earlier, despite the agreement in the alliance, parliamentary approval parliamentary approval in member state Turkey could still pose problems for their final inclusion as members. Even Erdogan said Turkey's parliament could refuse to ratify the deal. Tuesday's ex expected signing off does bring both nations deeper into NATO's fold. As close partners, they already attended some meetings that involved issues that immediately affected them. As official invitees, they can also attend all the meetings of the ambassadors, even if they do not yet have any voting rights. I commend uh, all allies for moving so quickly in accepting Finland and Sweden's applications for membership. And I want to thank Turkey, Finland and Sweden for their constructive approach. The trilateral agreement they signed at the Madrid summit made today possible. I know all three parties are working hard on the implementation and robust follow through, especially in the fight against terrorism. I now count on all allies to ensure the speedy ratification of the accession according to their national uh, procedures. Chinese Foreign Minister Wang Yi made a stop in Bangkok, Thailand after attending a high-level meeting hosted by Myanmar's military government. Chinese Foreign Minister Wang Yi held talks with Thai Prime Minister Prayut Chan-ocha and Foreign Minister Don Pramutwi Nai. Soon after, the two foreign ministers held a brief news conference and shared that both countries aimed to promote further cooperation in different areas, including economic and cyber security. Wang also said that China is planning to work with Laos and Thailand to build a special economic corridor that connects the three countries via rail links, linking markets in the south of China to the two countries. And Wang's visit is actually part of a five-nation tour in Southeast Asia. After Thailand, he will visit Indonesia, the Philippines, and Malaysia.